Well, so I've been thinking about this the last couple of days. I'm a teacher professionally, and I do think that teaching is one of my, my giftings. Um, but I think that for me, if I were to think about my art, my art would be to present the gospel to people in a way they can understand, or at least I want that to be my art. <laughs> um, and I'm talking about complete unbelievers, and I'm also talking about Christians who don't really understand. And um, one thing I was thinking about today was I was I had read the Bronze Bow to my children this year, um, which is a, a, a historical fiction about this young man with this tremendous anger problem because his parents were crucified by the Romans. He's just full of rage and hatred. And throughout the story, Jesus comes in and out of his life and ultimately heals his anger. Um, but I was thinking about the parishioners of Jesus. You know, they were the lepers and the prostitutes and the tax collectors and the social outcasts that I want to reach out to the, the people, the most in pain people, you know, the people that are wrestling with the disability, with, um, with an emotional disturbance, with a mental illness, with, um, you know, that, that's who I want my parishioners to be, you know, like Christ. Um, but I really want to present the gospel in an artful way that people can understand. You know, that would be if I could find a way to do that, to use my gift of teaching and what the Lord has done for me personally and combine that so that people would really comprehend. That would be the ultimate art. My art is maybe not unique. Uh, I think everybody has maybe this part of art instill in them, which is the art of thinking, the art of uh, creating ideas and thoughts. And I thought about all day, like, what I was going to talk about, and I, I thought about what drives my artistic side, and ultimately, the idea maker in my head. I think God gives me the ideas that I have to motivate me to do things in life. So, it's important for me, and my creative side, my art, to be in touch with God. And the art of thinking and ideas, I think, can kind of be honed, too, um, with practice. I, I learned some kind of techniques and stuff to help me come up with ideas. And uh, one of those is kind of like a, like a, making just a list of different ideas. And so when you, like, brainstorm or whatever... I like to write down every single idea because even though like one might be mad, bad idea or something, uh, then you could ultimately uh, use that to come up with the next idea. And that's all I got for today. Peace out. So uh, when I look around the world, especially, especially um, people from my generation, I see a lot of despair. Um, I see a lot of people who, when it comes right down to it, they feel scared about life. They feel um, that they don't have anything to offer. They feel totally disempowered. Um, and even deeper than that, they feel that they deserve it. That there, there, there's, there's a, a, a sense of, of a deep unworthiness that a lot of people bring into their lives. It comes from all manner of things, usually stuff that they brought in from their childhood or whatever else. It's not everywhere, but it's pretty common. And that drives me nuts. Um, I really want to fight for those people's hearts. Um, and, and if we've had much chance to do art, to do something creative, at the heart and soul of what's really on my mind is this ability or this desire to call out of people a glory and a strength and a, a power that is, that's inside them and that has always been inside of them. Um, but somewhere along the line just got smashed into the dust. And I don't mean I'm like a motivational speaker. That, that's not what I'm talking about. But it's something I think maybe in that neighborhood about helping people see what's inside them that is really good and unique and is worth bringing to the world. And not even that, not, not only just that it's worth it, but that the world needs them. Um, and so places where we can help people think deeply about what they can contribute, um, places where, where whether it's through a video game or a book or, or speaking on a stage, if we can inspire someone to really give it one more try and to get out there and, uh, and, and, and take another swing, that is about the best feeling in the whole world.
So I guess if my art right now comes in this way of, of making video games that have some deep stories and also the, the platform that that's allowed us to speak into things, um, that's where that's coming out right now. Um, but ultimately, that's the purpose behind it. Or am I supposed to say peace out? I'm John Berquist, and my art is connectedness. And today, I decided to use the first Icarus session to launch my book idea. To plan, I'm planning on publishing my book on connectedness called From Isolation to Art uh, this year, 2013. So I launched the blog today, and it's a little, I feel a little vulnerable and out there naked because of this. But I figured this was a good time to do it um, with friends. So the book is about uh, moving people from an isolated state, which all of us are isolated in some way, in, in some way or form, and not creating our art. And so the idea is to move from isolation to being connected, connected with our own hearts, other people, the world. And uh, so I've been writing on this topic of connectedness for about five years now and I have a lot of writings and I've uh, my first step to do is to take all of those writings and create a table of contents something that looks like a book so it's a pretty messy project right now uh, but I'm diving into it so that's my art and hopefully we will have a book in your hands someday and I have a minute left but that's all I got to say Oh, yes. So I'm still recording. And uh, one of the members of the Icarus sessions here reminded me, not someday, but... And not you're planning to do it. I'm not planning. I am doing it. So 2013, the book will be published. As Yoda says, there is no try, only do. <laughs> and that was Mr. Uh, motivational Speaker Chris Skaggs. <laughs>